Kate's got our forecast back home, but what is today better than yesterday weather-wise? You know, I would say they're just about the wow. same. Yeah. So nice. uh, you know, yesterday beautiful. was beautiful. Today is a little less windy. There's still mm -hmm. a breeze out there. It is perfect mm -hmm. outside. Is. This mm -hmm. is just like the best weather of the year, in my opinion. If we could just I, keep it you. this way. Yes, that's always the thing, right? Right. That's a big Upper 60s, year. low humidity. Perfect. Trees against the blue sky. It is perfect outside, except if you're a fan of rain or snow, in which case you got to wait a little while, but not too long. If you like the rain, you want to cozy up on a rainy day, well, we've got another Sunday with rain in the forecast for you coming up. Let's start off with the good stuff, though. We'll take you up to Big Boulder, which is not quite ready for the ski season yet, but you can see it's beautiful for leaf peepers. What a great weekend especially on Saturday when there'll be a little bit more sunshine to drive up the northeast extension of the turnpike and watch the foliage change. It just gets brighter and better the further north you go, although we're getting very close to the peak of foliage season right here around Philadelphia and certainly in the north and west suburbs. Lots of great color and starting to see a lot of changes in South Jersey as well, but you can see peak foliage up in our north and west suburbs where it got a little cooler a little sooner. Mount Pocono, the cool spot on the map this evening as well. It's 59 degrees in Mount Pocono right now. 67 is the current temperature in Philadelphia, 67 in Lancaster, 63 down in Dover, and 63 in Atlantic City. Here's your breeze. It's coming in out of the south. So with that south wind, that's out ahead of an advancing boundary. So it's not going to be quite as cool tonight, even as last night. Despite the fact that skies will be clear, that southwest wind will keep it a little bit milder overnight. Winds will calm down overnight. Right now, breeze about 10 miles an hour on average across the region. So here's this advancing boundary, and you can see there's just a line of clouds up across portions of New York State back into the Ohio Valley. This, though, is connected to a stronger storm, and this is quite a strong storm. In fact, we got to go all the way down into Texas and Oklahoma to find the backside of the storm with cold air pouring in from the Rockies. We got snow coming down in Texas right now. The Texas Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle, right on into Oklahoma. We are seeing some snow fall and even accumulating snow there. We've got some heavy rain and thunderstorms near Dallas, and all this is going to be lifting north and eastward as we head into the weekend and will impact us not with snow, but with rain. Tomorrow looks like another nice day, but we will see a few more high clouds drifting in during the day. That boundary we just looked at pushes, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit further to the south. Showers will miss us to the north Friday evening, but Friday again tomorrow evening at this time may turn out a little bit gray. Saturday will start the day with some sunshine, clouds thickening once again through the afternoon. There may be a few evening showers along this warm front if it extends far enough south and eastward, but the chance for rain really increases Sunday 9 a.m. We've got a lot of clouds by the afternoon. The rain starts coming down and it will come down pretty heavily. So your rain chances a 10% chance of a stray evening shower mainly north tomorrow. Saturday just a 20 percent chance in the evening, but Sunday once again looks like a rainy day, a 100 percent chance for rain. So if you want to go apple picking, you want to get outside, head to the pumpkin patch. Here's your best bets here. A good deal of sun in the forecast Saturday morning. There will be more clouds Saturday afternoon, but it does look to stay dry. If you must get some stuff done on Sunday, the morning looks a little better than the afternoon, but I wouldn't plan many outdoor activities for Sunday at all because that looks like a bit of a washout. If you're out around 8 or 9 in the morning, it'll be cloudy, but it may stay dry until 10 or 11 or so. But Saturday, definitely your best bet this weekend to get outside. Maybe an evening shower, but we will see some sun to start the day. Looks good for the Temple game. Monday, 67 and mostly sunny. Tuesday, a few showers. And our next front comes through Wednesday with a big change. Look at Halloween Thursday, 53 degrees. I want to go as the abominable snowman for Halloween. Something, <laughs> something a little chilly. Maybe yeah, Elsa, exactly. the frozen ice princess. Oh, yeah, oh that's a good one. Work. You'll be on brand. Fit right in there. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Appreciate it.